Good morning, guys. How are we all doing? Happy Friday, everybody. Hope we have all had a good week and looking forward to the weekend. I'm Dan from Trading with Dan. This is our Bitcoin morning update. So if you guys wouldn't mind smashing that like button and we shall go straight over to those Bitcoin for our charts. Uh, yes, yeah, so it appears we had a little bit of a bear trap here. You can see we were closing candles um, Well well below this uh, horizontal level um, And yeah threatening to threatening to come back down to the 42,000 obviously yesterday's video You guys knew that I was, I was I was looking at that as a potential move down But we did we did draw down our uh, downward sloping uh, trend line here yesterday And obviously a break of that was gonna basically break this downtrend and then we we're gonna see a nice move up and that is exactly what happened we got a big nice green candle firstly it got over obviously this horizontal uh, and then took out the uh, downward sloping trend line also and so therefore it was uh, it was always likely to get that follow through and that follow through has once again taken us above our above our zone here so our above our 46 to well for just under $47,000 level so uh, looking looking obviously good is this just just uh, like a little pump fake out before we do just get retraced and come back down we shall have to see um but it is the weekend it is the weekend so um so if you had to if you had to if i had to guess i think they will uh the liquidity potentially is to the upside um, a lot of people are uh um thinking we are going to basically come down from this level thinking we are, we are well we are in a level of a, a lot of resistance in the in the macro sort of trend uh, as you can see this is pretty important resistance area this whole zone is fraught with peril um, so yeah I do think the liquidity will be to the upside to squeeze them and if that is to be the case I do think we take out 50,000 and end up towards the 52, 53,000 and then potentially uh, we do then put in a top um, sort of get a wick on higher time frames and then maybe even come all the way down as low as 42 over time uh, back test that and then uh, yeah and then we'll have our nice wide range established of potentially uh, 42,000 to uh, 52, 53,000 so um, <laughs> that is my that is my crystal ball prediction obviously we shall have to see what happens again it is it's always just a game of horizontals horizontals trend lines breakouts breakdowns that is uh, that is all we can really do uh, all we can really do with TA and these markets um, as long as we're not because uh, because oh, we're not we're not fundamental analysts are we um, so yeah we'll have a look at a Ethereum Bitcoin as well Ethereum Satoshi pair and as you can see that did have a bit of a uh, a bear trap um, a bear trap to the downside as well and now trying to make its way back through our major our major level of resistance here obviously as you can see corresponding with this high here so yeah get back above here and um, we can look at this as a slingshot reversal reversal a swing shot reversal uh why does that not sound right reversal um and anyway yeah and then and then onwards and upwards basically to the next target of uh north spot north seven four uh the next resistant air resistance area so yeah that could be could be what is on the cards uh the uh dollar pairing as well as you can see um i mean realistically uh we had this channel uh the target of the channel is basically where the channel starts which is around here uh we did get the breakdown we got the move to not far off it and now we are coming back up is this going to be a uh forward check a back check and a paycheck we shall see but if we do regain this horizontal and regain this trend line as well so we get back into the channel um then yeah i mean we would realistically be looking for more upside at that point it is basically this is the point where we get rejected or we make it above or we continue continue the trend upwards um uh, bitcoin dominance as well uh have to having that nice little bounce retracing sat back on its recent lows looking incredibly uh incredibly juicy for altcoins if this just starts to accelerate down the only real spanner in the works i would be looking at and and obviously number only go up for this asset um but yeah we did break below this we bought bro we broke back above um, and we're now testing back into it so do we get supported here and continue on upwards back towards our all-time highs or do we lose this 
Um, and yeah, if we do lose this, come back down to this trend line, well, not back, but get back towards this, get towards this trend line and lose it, then yeah, we will, could be looking at a major correction here. But again, um, the trend is your friend, dips always, but number only go up. I mean, you re realistically, you have to assume that this is uh, not going to happen. Um, but obviously, it does. We have our validation points. Um, but yeah, but all I am saying is that this is not looking the most bullish um this is not looking the most bullish so um this could obviously have a drag down on crypto um on on crypto yeah and then the dsy again pushing up as well um so clear clear above our 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 previous highs and into uh into into relative recent medium time frame time frame price discovery so yeah that is looking good um so obviously this can have a, a negative impact on risk assets but i just want to kind of show you guys some of the predictions that we were we were making um, obviously we we're predicting on this let's just say to come down to here and then we'll get 20k plus bitcoin which we did but i think we got it well before and well higher and we're all the way back up here uh above where we were saying this breakdown point was and we have forty six thousand dollar bitcoin so in the actual like short terms these directions uh these directions can uh move like the short term price of bitcoin but i mean over its nine year history bitcoin is basically number only go up and um, and this realistically the relative levels uh, don't mean too much um as a uh too too much regarding the dx white and bitcoin but um but again though it is it is an indication of risk on and risk off and when you do get the big the big macro trends they kind of do govern um uh, govern bitcoin's price action to a certain extent but uh, but yeah we just have to understand this isn't like bitcoin i bitcoin is a commodity is like a is a finite thing it's like a it's like a like a natural resource um so um obviously this is relative to other fiat currencies so all fiat currencies if they're all devaluing just not as quick as the dollar and the dollar is going up that doesn't mean that all real things uh, such as bitcoin cannot be going up as well so yeah now we we, we spoke about this before um but yeah there we go uh nothing else really to look at on here just a quick look at the 10 year just um, oscillating around a bit which is what you want to see you just want sideways you don't want any moves big or up upwards you don't want any big moves downwards um we just want this uh just to uh just to um, not draw any attention to itself basically as i as i keep saying um but yeah obviously the taper talk the taper talk is not um is not is not what really is needed i think the next um thing potentially to hit the markets is obviously uh ppi which is a uh, not P producer price in um, the indexes which is a measure of the inflate the prices of, of producers so it's measure inflation that's not really manipulated by uh by uh the statisticians um because they can't really manipulate that number is obviously indicating higher inflation those costs will eventually get passed through to consumers um the uh forward guidance eventually is going to get um revised downward for basically companies and then we could start to see um, a proper stagflationary environment um, with stocks um, acting accordingly stagflation though is not is not bad for bitcoin the only thing bad for bitcoin is deflation um, um inflation or stagflation is fine for bitcoin deflation is not good for bitcoin but we never really get deflation <laughs> um which is why basically the fiat currencies over time always lose their value and why Bit well bitcoin of course it's uh is it's a uh, brief history has always gone up um so yeah even in a so basically even in a stagflationary environment which is not good for stocks um is not necessarily bad for bitcoin so there we go um so let's have a look at those stochastics quickly we are whizzing through this video um the four hour the four hour did get that move up and obviously support price action nicely as it did on what i say support but also brought it up uh pulled it up with it so that was good that was good um the 10 hour 10 hours turned up nicely here and has got a lot of room to run so yeah could we get up to that 50,000 plus over this weekend we potentially could 12 hour is looking to turn back up also so if this gets moving also upwards so we have 10 hour 10 hour and 12 hour moving up um, then we'll be looking good and if daily does turn around uh, here and just have another stint to the upside holding at holding in this uh, out of the purple zone then yeah things things will be looking pretty good for that move up towards uh 50,000 plus three day also obviously pointing upwards here did want to turn down five day moving nicely upwards week weekly looking look looking amazing this is one of the best ones this is what i want to see basically do the move like that do the move like that 
um, and then well we will I mean if we get up to here we will be beyond uh, we will have new all-time highs for Bitcoin um, bi-weekly as well turned and got so much room to run and monthly looking like eventually it will turn so like the longer term trend is looking good medium term trend is now looking good and uh, well short term trend is looking good so uh, obviously the spanner in the works is the stock market and the DXY people could start to um, want to get out of those people um sorry sorry people could start to look at that if they if they continue to deteriorate and um, want to take risk off in crypto also um at which point this could just look like one nice little big last pump up um before we do make a move down and i would definitely not rule that out as a possibility um but i do feel like liquidity is to the upside and regardless of whether we are going to come down to 40 41 or even lower um i think um i think realistically they want to push us over 50,000 towards 52 53 first that would just um just make more sense um so yeah there you go guys uh, this is not financial advice this, i'm not a financial advisor always do your own research and i shall speak to you guys soon